me start by saying, this is my copy of the Island of Dr. Moreau. Okay? I have read this thing forwards and backwards, and I still can't figure out how to save Kasima. I have tried. <laughs> no special notes from a suicidal scientist, unfortunately, in this copy. Alright, you guys ready? Pop Uh, actually, it's uh, not a question for you guys at all. 
but rather one directed towards Emmy voters, and it reads, What the hell is wrong with you? Again, um, what do you think of that whole hubbub? I just think that we're at a point in where television is extremely exciting. Um, the stories that we're telling, the, the directors and the actors and the writers that are coming to TV are like the highest, you know, this Oscar-winning actors leading TV series. So I just feel like really lucky to be at this point in history, in, in television history, making a show like this and, and in the company of shows like that. I, I, you know, the Emmys is, is lovely and wonderful, but for me it's more hearing the response from the fans and seeing the fan art and honestly and being in this room is like that's that's why we do it. You were know? <laughs> amazing and I think perhaps maybe no more amazing than the clip we're about to watch right now. You want to see what real terror looks like? Then check out a look on Sarah's face as she is reunited with her sister. Was a, that was a knock. That was a tough scene. But it was amazing at the same time, too, because we get to see Felix without the mask and the theatrics and the flair. We just get to see the person underneath all that. We're, uh, while we're talking to Jordan, was anyone in our panel last year, by chance? <laughs> Jordan happened to show up a singing voice. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I specifically said I was not going to be doing that unless somebody showed up with a guitar and a capo. He did a little sparks fly last year. Let me just say, sparks did fly. <laughs> sparks did fly. We'll let y'all come for now. We'll let someone have a guitar out there. Just saying. Uh, we'll let y'all come for now with good stuff there. Alright, so uh, we all knew that Mrs. S had a mysterious past. Right? We had a taste of that when she betrayed her old, or was betrayed rather, by her old political pals. What did she do about it? Well, I think they got the point. Let's take a look. 